Americans are now more health conscious, conscious, I should say, than ever, but many still do not know about one of nature's best kept secrets, enzymes. One of the nation's leading immunoenzymologists, who also happens to be a Nobel Prize nominee in science and medicine, is here today. Please welcome Ron Schneider to the Daily Buzz. Good morning, Ron. Thank you. Nice Pleasure to have to you here. Pleasure. Pleasure. Okay, uh, you know, I hear enzymes and I'm having a flashback to ninth grade science class and I still don't know what they are. <laughs> well, basically, they're protein catalysts, and they speed up biochemical reactions to the point to where it's fast enough to support life processes. Enzymes are present in all foods, all plants. Any living organism on the planet Earth has enzymes at its core, motor, if you will, to allow it to function and do whatever it does. Are, are we not getting enough enzymes in our current diet? Absolutely not. If you look at the way foods are grown and commercially distributed nowadays, most foods are irradiated, which destroys enzymes. That makes it safer for the consumer, like the E. coli scare and the spinach things. But there's a tremendous downside to that process too, which makes it virtually difficult and almost impossible for your body to effectively digest the food source all just with just what little bit of digestive enzymes your body produces. Now, I don't recall enzymes being part of my college program. How did you get involved in enzymes? Well, it's through a sequence of events. Um, but once I did, I actually went to a seminar in Arizona at uh, ASU campus and there was a lecturer there and he was from Germany and talked about enzymes. And my light went on. I'm like, holy cow, this is what's missing in people's daily diet. This is what's causing such rampant disease and illness around the world. And as far as getting started with the company, you said you started your company in Arizona and kind right. of went from there? Yeah, I, I started uh, two companies so far. First one was a research company in Phoenix, Arizona, in the industrial district. And uh, that was extremely successful. And then I moved back to Montana and started up a second distribution company. Okay, we got to talk a little bit more about the enzymes and what they actually do. You've got a test coming up in the next hour, which is going to be pretty, pretty cool. I've heard right, a lot of right. people talk about this oatmeal test. But what is it exactly that the enzymes do in our body that can help us stay out of the hospital? Let me just say this. When you take a look at the amount and percentage of the population of the U.S. that consumes a daily dietary supplement, vitamins, minerals, so on and so forth, they have to go through an efficient digestive process in order to be utilized at the cell level. Sure. And there's a little known fact out there that every single person that ages, for every 10 years you live your life, you lose a minimum of 8 to 10 percent of your digestive enzyme capacity to produce every 10 years. So at some point you're going to be severely enzymatically deficient and you no longer have the capability of digesting your meal source efficiently and completely. Ron, thank you so much. Now for more information on Ron's enzyme supplement, visit tvenrich.com or look for the link at our site, dailybuzznow.com. And like I said, coming up next hour, Ron's going to show us how it all works with an oatmeal test. You gotta see it to believe it, folks. We're back in just a moment. Thanks, Kia. So look, we're all searching for ways to beat father time, but the secret to good health can't be found in spoonfuls of fiber or even those pricey power bars in the health food aisle. The secret weapon can be summed up in one word, enzymes. This morning, we're talking to health expert Ron Schneider about the amazing benefits of enzymes, and now he's back to show us exactly how they work. How you doing, Ron? Real good. All right, so now, uh, you know, Andrea said it, I'll say it too. I don't know a lot about enzymes. I thought enzyme was a rapper. <laughs> he did that song. Might en be. Enzymatic. <laughs> Might be. Something like Might that. Might be. But no, that, but, but I've learned from our, from our first segment with you that these are nature's way of, of actually breaking down the food that we eat so that we can gain the nutritional value from it. Am I right about that? Right. Everybody's familiar with the digestive process. Right. You know, when you consume a meal, it has to go through the gastric juices, the enzymes, the whole breaking down period and process right. in order for your body to utilize it at the cellular level. Right. And right now, the foods that you, you mentioned in the first hour that with uh, irradiation and that kind of thing, uh, the foods that we're eating now don't have the enzymes that we need, that our body needs in order to properly get the nutrition out. Absolutely. That's just from the growing end of it. Then once we as consumers bring those foods home, what do we do with them? We cook them, fry them, boil them, bake them, microwave them to death. Kill all the living. Kill all off the uh, basic plant enzymes and food enzymes in those substances right. that could have aided our body in the digestive process to ensure 100% break down and complete digestion. And that's, and that's of course, what prevents disease. Absolutely. So, okay. All right, so you have something called the oatmeal test. This is very cool. Right, it's very cool. I wish we had Wilford Brimley here to do this, because that mustache would have helped. <laughs> but, 
It is the right thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is I like, developed this little test, and, and I urge, even encourage the consumers at home that are okay. watching this to do this test. And if you're not taking an enzyme, then you seriously need to think about it because without vitamins and all the nutritional supplements you're consuming, without digestion, none of it's going to work. Right. And we got you a little, uh, little how to do it right there right. on the screen. Right. Right. So, so we got this oatmeal, and this is solid, by the way. I, we yeah. Let me, the, let me just show the viewers here. That, that this is, isn't this isn't liquid by any means. It's not come. Whoops. It's all the dry. fork. The fork fell out, but right. the, the oatmeal is still pretty solid. Okay. So what I want to do is just take a, a tiny little capsule, one capsule. We're going to do this fairly quickly here. Yeah, about 40 seconds. So. Okay. Dumping in one little capsule of this stuff. Right. And you can see that this, gifts. yeah, this gets a little messy, but anyways, so what I want to do is just stir this around here real quick. And already you can see that it's almost liquefied. And when I pick up the glass, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and pour that in. Look at that. Now, and see, just, that broke that down that quickly. Well, it's, it's, it's water. Look at that. That is unbelievable. And that's what it's going to do in your stomach that's going to help you to, you know, to get the goodness again out of the food. Absolutely. And that's the purpose. You know, Look people that. talk about anti-aging. This is the most effective anti-aging anything that I've ever come across in my entire and life. And once again, Wilford Brimley would have been good to hear him Probably. talk about that. Probably. All right, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> for more information on these amazing products, you can head to our website, dailybuzznow.com. <laughs> Thanks, Kia. Well, people who are endlessly looking for the fountain of youth and good health are coming to realize the usual suspects just aren't cutting it. So this morning we are unveiling a secret ingredient that can help you beat the clock. Enzymes, ladies and gentlemen. The nation's leading immunoenzymologist, Ron Schneider, has been with us all morning to explain the who, the what, the when, the where, and the whys of enzymes. Ron, welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. It seems like in this day and age, especially now, with finances tight and our health care in such a debacle, a health care system. Yeah. Now is the time to really start thinking about preventative uh, measures. Well, it's, it's not only now, but it's imperative. I mean, look at the amount of people that suffer from heart disease, cancer, diabetes, arthritis. Medicine hasn't made any advancements in preventing you, the general public, or me, the general public, from acquiring these diseases as we start hitting our 30s and 40s. And the scariest part about it, too, is that a lot of these things you're talking about, you don't see them coming out. You don't start to feel bad until it's too late and you right. won't even diagnose mm -hmm. them. How many people feel they have cancer before they're diagnosed with cancer? I guarantee you, not one. Right. So uh, this is where this comes in. Now, uh, enzymes, we've been trying to get our bra brains wrapped around this all okay. morning. What they do is they help us to break down the foods so that you can actually get the nutrients out of that food. They are a necessary part of complete and proper digestion. Without complete and proper digestion of what you consume as a food source, whether it's dietary supplements or even the daily diet, if you don't digest it, it eventually turns into oxidized toxicity. Uh, so all these sound like good. Indigestion right. and all sorts of health problems. Those right? are just typical symptoms of lack of proper digestion and enzyme production. And oftentimes, I think a lot of people might look healthy on the outside, but they're not necessarily healthy on the inside. I have a famous quote: "Are you really as healthy on the inside as you look and feel you are on the outside?" Yeah. I open up every single one of my national conferences and conventions with that question. Right. Now, you know, a lot of people try to take vitamins and stuff. I think we we have some stats on that. You know, they they, they take the, the nutrients, but then. Look at the stats that we have right. here. Yeah, 40% yeah. of adults take a daily vitamin or supplement, but about 75% of Americans will suffer from some kind of degenerative, degenerative disease. disease. That's correct. And 75% um, is conservative. Yeah. At the rate at which disease is growing today, it's unbelievable. Virtually everybody, 90% plus, within the next 15 years will have some form of disease or illness. And, and enzymes are in our food, but somehow they don't necessarily make we it into our them. body. We cook them, we destroy them in our, in our daily practices of preparing our meals. Okay. And so it puts a tremendous burden on your body and you also suppress your immune system when you consume foods that don't get completely digested. Let's take a look at what these actually do. Um, this is the oatmeal test, which you do sure. uh, when you open up as far as, you know, the enzymes. Here's a list of things, but this oatmeal test will show you exactly what these enzymes do and how they might help your digestion. It's, it's just a amazing. simple little test. Yeah. What it is is regular cooked oatmeal. It is a solid form. Um, totally all he's doing solid. is adding it into a single capsule. Yeah. This is what I want everybody to understand about my formulations versus other formulations in the market. One capsule has the ability to digest most of what you could consume as far as a solid food. You want this me to grab this glass? This yeah. is completely yeah. liquid now. I mean, it, it does. It just takes 
seconds, Look at that. not minutes. That was Ron, solid. I guarantee amazing. you that was dead. That was Thank solid. Thank you so much. Now, uh, if you want to order Ron's enzyme supplement, visit tvenrich.com or look for the link on our site, dailybuzznow.com.